Hi guys, it's me, Kat. This is Handy, are you? Hope everybody's doing really well tonight or today, whatever it is. Well, I had this um, little brochure I got in the mail. Uh, and I hope you can see it. Can you see it? Yeah. Um, White House, the White House Historical Association. And can you see the bottom? I can't, I can't tell. So you can get ornaments and, and little gifts and things from this association. So I'm sure there's a lot of comms in here, but I'm just going to point out a little bit. Let's see. I like this one. I like this one right here. Like follow the pen from Q, that little picture we had. Uh, let's see. I'm sorry. I do have it organized. It doesn't look like it, but I do. Now look at this tree. I'm sure golden retriever means something too, but I, I didn't do that. So you see the tree. Look at all the, the military things on there. Well, you can look at them as military. Maybe not necessarily, but you know, planes and the helicopter. And then you've got, um, as they call it, the beast. You know, the presidential limo. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. And on the bottom, on the bottom down there, is um, Air Force One. And it's on a stand, so it's going up at an angle. And it's pointed towards a box, um, probably a kit to make a model of the White House. So it looks like it's going after the White House, like possibly it's a calm for um, a, an, a missile coming towards it or something like that, or that it looks obliterated. This I really like too, um, because President Trump is uh, Scottish, I'm Scottish, and we've got the buyer's carolers in um, the kilts and all with the bagpipes. So, a nod back at President Trump, of course. And um, let's see, what else do we have? Another pen. And this was the part I really, really liked. Now we see Nancy Reagan up here. I think we're going to see her and President Reagan again, which is exciting. And do you remember Nancy Reagan had a double mastectomy? And she had, I think she had breast cancer on one side, but she had both the other one done because she didn't want to have go through that again. And who was it? Um, she was the second press secretary. And I loved her. You know, the blonde hair, and she's so pretty. I can't think of her name right now, but you, I'm sure you know who I mean. But she had a double mastectomy. What would happen? And she wore very, very tight um, dresses all the time, sleeveless dresses, just different. It almost looked like different colors of the same dress to me. And, uh, Kaylee, Kaylee McEnany. So <clears throat> what would happen if everybody was healed? Like, I think our DNA just kicks right into gear after all this horrible stuff at some point and all that junk DNA heals ourselves. Like maybe we're the med beds and maybe they had to tell us there's med beds or people wouldn't get it. They wouldn't think they need to see, get an idea of something on the outside fixing us. But what if we're the med bed, you know, oh, that would be a good thing to decode. We're the med beds. Ooh, that'd be a good one. Um, okay. So the point is with Nancy and Kaylee, what if you, then you saw them and they, weren't straight right here. What if they were just like they used to be? I mean, that, that would be amazing too. I mean, think of all the people, just limbs coming back and all kinds of things. I'm excited. So, and on the bottom here, we have um, Mona Lisa in Camelot. Look who's here. Look on the bottom. I can't tell if you can see it. I'm sorry. I have to look around. Yeah. So there, there's Jackie. So Jackie, from what I understand, just from this little blurb here, um, Jackie brought the Mona Lisa 
into the White House on like a, a, a tour, you know, uh, probably it was going other places and she got it in the White House. But doesn't she, I mean, she looks like the Mona Lisa, but I've got a feeling Diana was the Mona Lisa and, and she's like the mirror image, you, you know, you know, think mirror. Well, that's also a, com, a twin com, right? I'm always talking about Diana and Jackie are twins. And um, John and John are twins, and that's a long story, but, you know, they're not just father's son. They're actually twins because he came back um, as um, <sighs> Joseph Patrick Kennedy Jr. died in World War II in a plane crash. And then when he came back, he was John Jr. So, excuse me need this for my throat so honey and lemon in my tea it's a good thing <laughs> um so I thought that was great that Jackie was in here and, and it's a book um let's see yeah Mona Lisa and Camelot by Margaret Leslie Davis how Jackie Kennedy's how Jacqueline Kennedy and Da Vinci's masterpiece charmed and captivated a nation so that's cool uh, is there anything else i should show you oh life in the white house it's just a book right life life in the white house it's hard to see life in the white house because i don't think anybody's in there now you know you know how it's usually dark well at least it used to be dark maybe it isn't dark anymore maybe they have lights on um, and this was good too. Um, I mean, a lot of these, you know, the headline, the phrases are good to decode, but this is cute because these are some of the bakers, um, or chefs. I don't know which way to say they're, what they are. And it says White House gingerbread right there. Now, do you remember, um, when President Trump was there and they had that special, uh, White House done and there was all kinds of comms in it i mean all you have to do is probably look at anybody who did, was doing videos now i didn't do a video on it but was decoding things anybody but me <laughs> look at their videos <laughs> and and um melania did the tour and the trees were all red you know like the because of blood and stuff with the you know and um like she almost like a hall of red trees and there was the gingerbread elevator in the um trump chicago i think it was chicago and uh and it was all comms you know there was uh, there was a queue on the uh, i think there was a queue on a stocking there was a mantle there was a santa claus there was santa claus with a hammer um there were stockings on a mantle. So if you walked in that elevator at that hotel for the Christmas season, the whole, all the walls were made out of gingerbread. Um, everything, the mantle, the pictures, everything was gingerbread. I just got such a kick out of it. And then they also, you also saw a picture um, from inside of the gingerbread elevator looking out I don't remember even where I saw it. Maybe it was from the Trump uh, website, Trump Hotel in Chicago. And <clears throat> and you could see these people walking by and it looked like, like a representation of who you would think of as Carolyn, but that's Diana and and Junior with a baby. Like and so I don't I don't know if that's really what that meant, but nothing is a coincidence, so it, it meant something. I don't, I don't know if that's what it meant, though. Um, let's see. What else can I tell you? Ah, I have a lot of stuff. I have lots of stuff. I usually just randomly pick up something. <laughs> it's terrible. It's so unplanned. Um, so, John Denver. You know, my, my um, profile photo is uh, me with... One of the Vincent Fuscas, now there's at least three, I think, Vincent Fuscas that run around, or at least used to run around. I haven't heard of them lately. <clears throat> but I met this 
This Vincent Fusca I met in Trump, D.C. I think it was, I'm pretty sure it was 2019. That was the year that uh, President Trump had a big salute to America. And now it's a reference to the salute to America that John Jr. did at his dad's funeral, you know, as, as the, the um, horse went by with his, with his dad's body and all that stuff, and he saluted. You remember that salute, and he's wearing the little blue jacket and everything? Well, that is, Juan has called that John's salute to America, and then President Trump is doing it back when he did that big 4th of July celebration. I, I tried to go to it, but I ended up having a back problem, and I had to leave, but... Um, Anyway, so I met my Vincent Fusca there, and um, <clears throat> everybody at the time was saying that that was John Denver, and I thought, okay, John Denver, you think it's John Denver? Fine, that's cool, really cool. I love John Denver. Um, but so anyway, I decided to do more on John Denver, and I looked up his name, and he was supposedly born John Henry Duch. Duchendorf, D-E-U-T-S-C-H, yes, S-C-H-E-N-D-O-R-F, Junior, it says a junior in there, and that last name, it's a made-up character, this is a made-up character, it's just, everything is fake, um, so, the last name, Duchendorf, in Jewish Gematria, it's 595. And I, I always forget lately, oh, Gematria is A equals 1 through Z equals 26. And I use gematrix.org. And um, I also look at the Jewish outcome now. I didn't used to in the old days. But when they did a re reset of Gematrix um, search engine, gematrix.org, I realized that, okay, you, you can't bypass looking at the Jewish gematria. You have to look at it. Um, so when they reset it, they wanted us to look at it, and they wanted us to work on that too. So I, I, I do both now. Um, so when you enter the word, phrase, or letters into the search engine search bar, you come up with matches, and then you listen to inside what God, the Holy Spirit, or whoever you think it is, uh, tells you, and then you start to get a story, and that's what I do. Uh, okay, so Duchendorf, in Jewish gematria, it's 595, and it's parody. It's fake. The name is fake. Parody. Um, French Connection. Diana supposedly died in Paris, France. Impersonator matches. Sad eyes. You remember those interviews when Diana was with Bozo over there, married to Bozo? And um, she always looked so sad. You, you know what I mean? Like really, really sad. And the, the person would be interviewing her and it was horrible. And every, she, the, her life was awful. Um, at the end of, you know, before she left, Left, um, left him. Then we get, okay, so, so Duchendorf in the simple gematria now. It, it's 142. I am Mary Magdalene. Okay? And Diana is one and Jackie's another. There's always twins involved in this stuff. And then this is horrible. I'm going to tell you anyway. I wasn't going to, for a second, I wasn't going to say it, but I'm going to say it. Um, it Funny. These are so funny sometimes. So, I have Mary Magdalene. But then, I, then the next one I have is a wet T-shirt. <laughs> like in other words, Duchendorf is not a guy. Duchendorf is really a woman. Um, who, who am I really? And I like boys. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Okay. So that's that's. Who John Denver was supposed to be. Um, then you do, then you do John Henry. So I've got a feeling what they do, just like with other people at Cary Lake, they take turns. They take turns playing these people. Sorry. Um, 
So John Henry is in simple gematria is 117, and it's Jackie Kennedy. You don't get these guys' names popping up all the time. It's only when you're working on certain things. And then, yep, that's not a coincidence, you know? Um, okay. So probably we're taking turns. And then you've got, I did the whole name, which is, you know, long. John Henry Duchendorf. In Jewish, it's 1826. And it equals, these two are cousins. Well, like really twins to me, you know, but it's just funny that that came up talking about two of them. And Hollywood actors. And um, let's see. Yeah, oh, this is a good one. How did I miss this one? Yes, Jennifer's body. Jennifer Mack is Diana and J Jackie. I mean, you know, the Jennifer Mack. You can find her on, um, I think you have to look at her website now, don't you? The JenniferMack.com to, to find her. And um, you can still, I think, you can still get her um, cookbooks, which are like more like recipes. Um, well, not recipes. It's it's. She's got a lot of writing in there besides recipes, is what I mean. And uh, she she signs them. So if you buy certain cookbooks uh, of hers, she she um, will sign it. I have one. And and she also has the Magador jackets and all that. Um, okay. So now I'm still working on Jewish, on John Henry Duchendorf. I think you have made a mistake. Like, you know, it's not really who you, you think he is. Um, I, I wrote really small here. Um, um, see, I have not made up my mind. That is really funny. Like, because it's two people, I think. And the twin Baroque pearls. Like two. There's another two reference. Um, lies devastating Jen, another Jennifer Mack. See the Holy Queen of Heaven, there's a Diana. Be still and know that I am God. That's an awesome one. Um, let's see. And simple, his whole name, John Henry Duchendorf, is 259. The truth will prevail. There are three kinds of lies, not necessarily the three the part is important, but lies. Unconscious collective, another reference to more than one. And just fake disinformation, like fake. And John, John, oh, pfft, should have said this one first. John, John Kennedy Jr. matches. I am the twins, the storm, like twins, comma, the storm. And when you see John, John, uh, and people say John, John uh, Kennedy talking about when he was young, or sometimes I guess when he's older, they might say John, John. But I said this a long time back, but it's, they, I don't know if the media called him John, John, I'm not sure. But I remember John Kennedy saying in some interview he, he didn't like that nickname. Also, what I think it is, is really, it's a reference, if you think about it, to the two Johns. It's John Kennedy Jr. and John F. Kennedy, the president. You know, it's the two Johns. And I, I, did, I made that really clear on a video one time. And I said, look, it's not John John. It's John and John, you know. And every time... That, so I think the White Hats or somebody fixed it for a long time. When, when that video would play, you couldn't go back to the beginning of the video. It started right there where it explained, I don't know what minute it was, but it was a ways in. And you could only play from that moment on where it's an ex explanation that there's two Johns, you know, and that the John John is not what it seems to be. So I thought that was really cool. That happened for a while. Uh, okay. So. 
Okay, sorry, I, I got off track. So I put John Denver's first, like, the, all these famous people, there's singers or songwriters or com comedians, used to have their own variety shows. They'd have guests on and they'd be like an hour long. And that was like a real common thing back in the 70s, especially 60s, 70s. And he had his first show, you know, um, and he was making a, he thought it was really cool and he was laughing and everything. I think he was Diana in that. Um, yeah, let's see, where am I, where am I? Um, oh, the, yeah, so on his first show, now you, it was recorded, the, you know, they weren't live. And he his voice cracked really bad and he was singing, leaving on a jet plane. And I was like, I'm thinking, well, wouldn't they have like fixed that, you know, had him play, sing it again? But it happened at on the on the video. It was fourteen, eleven. So I thought, okay, his voice cracked at fourteen eleven. So I just put in fourteen eleven, um, in gematrix.org, and in Jewish gematria, it equals twelve sixty one, and it's I am a genetic identical of my sister. Now. I'm not saying Jackie and Diana are identical twins, but they are twins, you know, and I think their genes are probably the same because they're from God, you know, they're gods and goddesses, all these people. Um, but anyway, I am a gen genetic identical of my sister and Philip Godlewski. And, I, you know, I've done videos on Phil being them, um, the, 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 the ladies, uh, Long, cool woman, and Diana's very tall. Long, cool woman. Oh my gosh, the song, right? Long, cool woman in a black dress. Well, black is Diana. Oh, that's cool. That's really cool. Um, let's see. Christmas event matches that. So I thought that was yet another thing that makes me think about Christmas Eve. And remember all the stuff about, um, I did about Christmas Eve and the, uh, the first battle that the Patriots won in uh, Trenton, New Jersey and all that. Well, that'll come up again soon. Hang on. <clears throat> I hope you're all feeling good. I'm not sick, really. I just have a scratchy throat. It better not get worse. I won't let it, I won't let it get worse. Um, let's see. Okay, so in Jewish, 1411, and then in simple, it's 167, and it's learn our comms. That's a that's a cue phrase, and that's we're supposed to learn this gematria, gematria, gematria. I say it different different times, and uh, remember there was the the cue post, and it was about I think it started my fellow Americans, and it was a, like a letter to us. You know, it was more, instead of the short little choppy cue phrases, um, it was more like a letter. And then at the end, it was signed four, comma, 10, comma, 20. Well, four, 10, 20 is DJT. So he was the one that wrote that one. Um, and that's gematria, you know, matching the letter to the number. Um, and vice versa. <laughs> and she is the Messiah matches and message in a bottle matches. Okay. Message in a bottle. That's exactly what this old TV show is. And a lot of old stuff we see on TV or whatever or on YouTube. It's like a message in a bottle. It's like it's done, recorded or written. And it's, it's and then later on you find it, you know, you go look back and you go, oh, my gosh. They've been telling us right along. Um, then he had on, let's see, Phil and Taffy Danoff. Okay. And I, I, I don't even know if I decoded their names. I should have if I didn't. Ah. And, uh, but then you have Taffy. That's two Fs. You have Danoff. That's two Fs. And you have Phil in there, like our Phil Godlewski. 
so I think it was just the two of them. Either it, either it was John and Diana or or President Kennedy and Jackie. I, I'm not sure. I'll probably get my answer as I read along, but anyway. Uh, part of the lyrics were, we're all singers in a choir, makes me think of angels, right? And we're all players in a play. They're telling us, right? Um, that's part of the first part of the song. And then um, John Denver says, this carnival, carnival-like atmosphere that we're going to create right here, we'll start off with Bill and Taffy Danoff. Oh, I thought it was Bill. Well, anyway, Bill, two L's, anyway, whatever. Um, carnival-like atmosphere, because it's all fake. Um, I'll just read the lyrics. I mean, maybe I should just read the little bits of the lyrics. Yeah. Uh, the, well, the clock goes tick, tick, taco, okay? Tick, tick, taco. It, in simple, it's princess. So probably, you know, Taffy was Princess Diana. Because like I said, it was all recorded. So they're doing their song. So she still could have been John because then John's over here, you know? It, it, you can't really see him. Um, in the Mexican cafe... By the, by the friendly topless car wash. Like, that's almost like an Eve reference because they had no clothes on. Well, they were surrounded by an aura, I think is more like it. And then they lost it. They lost the divineness in the Garden of Eden because of what they did. Um, let's see. And the camera, I'm skipping around in the song, and the camera slowly pans across, like, like fake, right, the camera. And then at 4.50, the airport in L.A. were all singers in a choir, or all players in a play, but, but they'd have to pay me overtime if they want me to stay. Like, like remember the people exit? They're not really gone. Because I'm flying home to Nashville today. Um, there are poets in the ocean. That was an odd line, wasn't it? Poets in the ocean. And uh, I know John, Diana, Jackie, all of them were like Shakespeare and all these people, other poets that, you know, probably Walt Whitman, who knows? Probably all of them. Um, but poets in the ocean. Well, remember the Beast event? I talk about the... Uh, end up in the ocean because the uh, I, there might even be two of them I think got a feeling there might be two of them and the reason I think that is because now there's they're called shark fins on uh, you know the thing that is on the back on the top of cars now and and it's for probably satellite radio GPS tracking following you um, telling geolocating so you can, you know, use maps and stuff. But there's, I don't know which car it is, but I know that I've seen one and it's got two, two of them now. And it's called, you know, they're, everybody's going, why are there two shark fins? Which is very interesting to hear that put that way. Because usually with a shark, you see one in the water. So there could be two bees. Um... It's going to be so gross. Um, okay. Hordes of hungry Bogarts. Hort, like pretending. Not really, because, you know, when it looks like it hits the fan, it, people won't really be hungry, but it's going to look like that. I think it's going to look like it's people are obliterated at the end, and like you're, you're going to think you're the only one alive. And then um, credits flashing by. And it was cool that they said that because Tom's name, Tom Numbers, ended up in one of his favorite movies in the credits. And he somehow, the credits were changed by the good guys or, off, you know, something. Uh, so his name was in, in, a, in credits. Um, and let's see. 
slipping in and out of focus, like I'll pretend the best of all this make-believe. I, I say goodbye to Hollywood. Goodbye to Hollywood because Hollywood's going to be gone. And then they go on. We're all players in a play. They're, they're telling us all of this is fake, everything. And John Denver's not John Denver, and they're not who they say they are. And um, Let's see. So he's joking around at this point. John Denver's on, and he's like joking around with the audience. And he says, um, I get very homesick, but I, I just saw Westminster Abbey. Remember the, remember, remember the 5th of November? Well, that was to blow it up, you know, as far as I know. I think it was Westminster. I'm pretty sure. And he, he was joking because he said, I can't wait to, he's acting as if it wasn't done, you know, like they, it just doesn't look finished on the outside. And he's, oh, I can't, I, I saw it. I can't wait to see what it's going to look like when it gets finished. Well, that's another double meaning. Um, when it gets finished, like done, over, gone, like finished. Um, he said, St. John's Cathedral buildings surround, uh, let's see, surround, uh, there's buildings around huge skyscrapers or the buildings around St. John's Cathedral. And he said, I thought America had the market on hiding built beautiful buildings. And uh, I'm not sure, but I think he's referring to, at least it's a, it's a legend if it's, I mean, it might not be true too, like most things are not true, but that President Trump was building either a hotel or his casino or some one of his buildings and a, an old lady wouldn't sell out to him. This is a story anyway. And he built over the home. And, it, and anyway, so I, I, so I think when he was saying, and that would have been in the future, right? <laughs> so I thought America had the market on hiding buildings, or it could also be a time travel thing, you know, like going through a portal and you're hiding a building. I, I'm not sure. I don't even know how. I don't know how that works. I shouldn't even talk about it. Um, Let's see. And then he said he was in a whispering gallery. And this lady, <laughs> this, and, and I can't remember where else, the second, there was another place right around when I watched this show from like 73, I think, or something like that, where I heard the term whispering gallery. I've never heard that in my life. And it was also something to do with comms. Um, this lady, another Diana Com, thought I said something that someone else had said. And um, let's see. And uh, let's see where. Uh, I'm sorry, I lost my place. Oh, and skyscrapers. That's what it was. I forgot. Skyscrapers could be another double meaning for Diana because she's tall. So there's another one. Um, and then he meant, so he's talking about Westminster Abbey. Oh, Westminster Abbey, that's a religious place. That's not where the, uh, I can't remember what the name of the, where the, what the government meets now. I don't, I don't know. I'm getting confused. Um, let's see. And, and then he's about the lady that he was talking about at 917, he, he said, he, John Denver says, she said, innocent, my foot, dirty old man. That's another shoe calm, right? My foot. Uh, Lancaster Gate, High Gate, Queens Gate. All we have in the U.S. is Watergate, is the Watergate, meaning, you know, where President Nixon was, they tried, impeached him, they did. Um, and at 1017, one of his aides cleared it up. How can you expect the president to run the country without what knowing, without knowing what the Democrats are doing? And then he says, I can understand that. So it's like his coding is like, like I said, a message in a bottle for us right now. Um, he said, I'm sorry, 
I was talking about the bars closing early in England. Um, you'll, the bartender would say, or barkeep, I'm sorry, you're, you're all too late. It's closing time. But the mustard is free. Now, when I, as soon as I heard mustard, I thought a kernel mustard, you know, I don't know why. Clue, from Clue. And um, <laughs> give me a clue, right? And so it made me think of Colonel Mustard, but it, beyond that, it made me also think of um, Diana played a, the Hessian Colonel, who was, this is for all from my coding, I did a video on it like a year ago near Christmas, and the Hessian Colonel, um, I think, gave in in the Battle of uh, Trenton, where the Patriots won that battle, and uh, I think it was Diana, because I went and did a lot, a, a deep dive on uh, the colonel's name and all that. I can't think of the name right now, but it was like Diana, Diana Combs. Um, so to me, the, the, when you think of mustard and I thought a colonel, it brought me right back to the Hessian colonel in Trenton, um, 1776, so the Revolutionary War, anyway. <coughs> He said, John says, I was told you cannot talk to a British stewardess without a formal introduction. I want you to know that's not true. All you need is a note from your mother, like Eve is our mother, the two Eves. And, and there is a movie called that too, The Face, Two Faces of Eve, I think, with Betty Davis. And I always carry one with me. And, and so if you're, if you're the mother, of course, you can carry the note if you're, if you're Diana. Um, and he sings leaving on a jet plane. He looked super tall in that one. And I never thought of John Denver as being tall, but in that shot, he looked really tall. And my, and my Vince of Fusco was not tall at all. I think it was more like a Jackie height. So at this point, I'm thinking it was Jackie, unless it wasn't, you know, it's, I have no fake name to go by, you know, I mean, there were, so many Vincent Fuscas, I can't, I can't be specific on mine, but I, I had to scrunch down, I'm 5'10", I had to scrunch down, scrunch, whatever, and, um, and Vincent Fusca stood next to me, and we did, like, and he, and he pinned a pin on me, and, um, or she, whatever, pinned a pin on me, I mean, I, I gave money for it, he, he asked, would you like one of these? And it was like $10, I think. And I was like, of course I do. And it had like a special card that it was on and it was all coded. I decoded the card way back and everything. And um, and he, he, she, whatever said to me, now don't lose that card. You know, the thing that the pin came on. Um, it's gonna be very valuable one day. And I was like, oh, all right. You know, and um it says Trump 2020 on it, and it's got each letter is like certain letters are, are red, certain letters are silver, certain letters are blue, and it, it was all coded. You know, I did that a long time ago. Um, anyway, and so, you know, he's thinking leaving on a jet plane looks super tall. And he supposedly, I don't know if you know, but he supposedly died in a in a plane crash just like John Jr. and um, of course he didn't and he owned an, a, a what they call I think an experimental jet and I think it might have been two seats but it had and it had super long uh, wings and um, anyway he supposedly died off the coast of California in this jet so, and of course one of his famous songs is leaving on a jet plane so I thought that was fun. So anyway, I think I'm going to cut this one short, shorter than usual. And um, let's see. I don't know if I'm going to do another one. I don't know what to do. Well, anyway, thanks, you guys. Um, I hope you're okay and getting through this this time of the a time of year. And um, I appreciate you. I love your comments. You, you guys comments mean a lot to me. I don't know if you really know that. It, it's really, really sweet, special. And um, anyway, 
I love you guys. Take care of each other. Take care. Bye.